Alright, let me... I'm on the magic section. What kind of conjure could I... For a metal conjure? Oh, <laughs> I don't even know if I've seen a metal conjure before. It's really slow. Sand is... I've also... I thought about doing sand, honestly, but sand, sand sounds cool. I saw someone do a sand conjure build before. The biggest turn off for sand for me is the beams look ugly as hell. I, I bet. <laughs> ah, fuck it, I'll make a light conjure. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Double light progression. Yeah, let's go. Insanely fast speeds. I know. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to try this build. Alright, so what are you, are you going for sunlight? I mean, I want to. I'll, I'll do the opposite of you. Whatever you do. Okay. You know what? I'll stick with moonlight. Alright, and I'll use sunlight. Okay. Alright, so we're the moonlight, sunlight, light conjure duel. <laughs> yeah, bro. Speed ring this shit. Okay. Are we gonna do the cargo thing? Yeah, really. Let's just do cargo from like level sixty. I've never, I've, I've honestly never done that before. Do we need yeah, like a like, someone with a uh, like a what's it called progress slot with a bigger ship or? Honestly, you don't need to, like, because you buy catch at three thousand galleon. That's big enough, to, like store like thirty levels worth of mm. cargo on a single. Ship, mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna have a bounty. I feel like I want to have a bounty on this slot. Oh, I guess I'll do the same. Because it'd be pretty weird having a fame and bounty player together. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. It's All right, worth I'll it. Join you. Yeah, I'm already in. Four, three, three Y's. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got three L's in my name. Got Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. No, that is actually that is a crazy coincidence. Bro, people are thinking. People are thinking we're gonna be like dick riding each other, bro. <laughs> Bro, same name, funny. same conjure build, bro. It's gonna be yeah, funny bro. as fuck. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Let's just get this over with, buddy. Come on. Oh, this. I forgot how long this takes to reload. Dude, no. This is literally the fastest way, and I missed. Awkward. Watch out. There we go. Easy. Yeah, guys, take notes. Use the flintlock every single time you fight any of the bosses. Use fl use the flintlock. Have a gun with you for every boss. Hundreds of damage easily. They all have end lag for a certain amount of time, no matter what. It's just so simple. Then we reset, <clears throat> and then go down and talk to my boy. There we go. You sent me. Boom. Speed running all this. We're gonna have this build done in five hours, chat. In five hours. Mark my words. Look at this guy. He's reading the underwater sea chart. Little does he know that he's not ready for that. He's gonna get eaten by sharks. Look, look at the smile on his face. Look, he thinks he really just found like a treasure. He didn't find shit. Easy. I've right, killed seven of these guys. Oh wait, hold on. I'm getting. No, dude, stop running under me like this. All right, we're good. Go, go, go. He's still looking at it. All right, I should just be able to kill. Iris with uh, my flint here. I'm gonna try and get dual ones or a musket by the time we get to like uh, Elias. There you are. All right, cool. All right, I'm back. That was a little longer than <laughs> than a couple minutes. No, you're fine. Do you just have to get one hit on him or what? Yeah, just one hit. Yeah, I got that kill. Nice. Oh, one spawn right here. There, I got a hit. So. Uh... Damn. If we just both attack him, one person, surely one person can't miss. Yeah. As you guys know, this is just a repeatable process until we're about level 40, so, um, yeah, have fun enjoying watching us do this within 30 seconds. Well, it took us about 30 minutes. Okay, I'm lying. It didn't take us about 30 minutes. It was actually pretty fast, and we were able to get through this pretty quickly because, uh, doing it together was surprisingly faster than doing it separately, as we were able to find, like, a balance in doing it together while we're able to share kills and then speeding up the process. We're killing them basically right as they spawned, which gave us the upper hand and advantage. And we were at the point where we were literally waiting for them to respawn. So if you have a friend that you're going to progress with or anything, I definitely recommend it because duo progressing, especially at the beginning of the game, is really easy and actually makes the process um, go by a lot quicker. Okay, I'm level 40 now. All right, I'll meet you up there pretty soon. I'll All right. Finish this. Sounds good. Where's my ship at? Oh, here we go.
All right, and then after killing Lord Elias, I went straight to doing cargo. Um, me and Aimcell were talking about uh, doing the cargo method, which, you know, usually works really well, but I've never done it before, despite having hundreds of hours on this game. But uh, after that, made my way up to level 60, and then I started doing cargo all the way from 60 to level about 110. And so that took a couple hours, but by hour 5, I would like to say, I was at 110, level 110. And then that's when I went to straight uh, just farming and finishing up the rest of the story, because once you're level 110 to 115, you don't have to do cargo anymore. The storyline will just give you the rest of the levels you need to get to max level. And so finally going through the troubles of cargo, I had finished up the grind after a couple hours of cargo back and forth from Red Wake to Ravenna, and it was time I put my levels to work. So then I went straight to completing the story, fighting General Argos, killing him, and then going to Lady Corinna, killing her. Bro, Lady Corinna is so annoying. I hate fighting her with guns. She moves all the time. It was the most annoying fight I've ever fought in my life. It's even worse than King Calvis, I swear. But now after that, we went and fought King Calvis. Now, I take my words back on what I said about Lady Corinna. When I was fighting King Calvis, I died, died again, and again. Until finally, after getting some help from Siren, I was able to finally kill him and take a second for myself. Because either way, no matter how high of a level I already was, going from General Argos all the way to King Calvis' fight straight takes about an hour in its own. As you have all the little side quests in between, and so you know you're just being stalled. But over time, you're actually doing something, so I'd rather do this than just sit there and do a cargo until I max level. It saves you the extra trip. But once I killed King Calvis, I was finally able to start my awakening process. I also almost forgot how annoying this was as well, as realistically the whole process was for you to go back and forth across the map three times, just to meditate at some random spots on the map. You had to go to Sandfall Isle, you had to go to Red Wake, and then the last place, I forget honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was at Shalion, but yeah, that was kind of boring as well. I wish there was a more interesting way you could progress the story at the end, especially because all you do is drive your ship mindlessly for about 20 minutes. And I'll tell you, it's not fun, but, but from what it seems, the continuation of the story into the Nimbus Sea sounds a lot more interesting. And that overall, thinking about that now, gets me wondering how we're even going to be able to transfer over to the Nimbus Sea from this part of the story right now. Anyway, that's a whole different video, but getting back on track, finally, finally, finally finished it. Alright guys, it's been a second since that last clip, but as you guys can see, I did end up getting um, my imbuement. I forgot to record it sadly, uh, as I was just sitting there doing it, so overall I thought it was just going to be a boring process, which it kind of was. And I did end up finishing it within 6 hours of doing it. It would have been shorter, but I was AFK for about like an hour, um, you know, just putting up recording together. But the process I did is probably the fastest way you can do it, you know, just follow that if you guys are ever trying to make a quick build. But yep, that's how I progress most of my builds, you know, just regularly. If I had a challenge, I would do it a different way, obviously. So if you guys have any challenges for me to do for progressing a build let me know down in the comments and uh, yeah the whole point of this progression was to get a video ready for you guys so um you know stay tuned for that it's gonna be coming out soon and uh, yeah let me get straight to it i'll see you guys later peace